This is the first campaign of Fables of Aeda, Curse of Amity Island. Allie. <laughs> <laughs> it's late at night. You see your father talking to the centurion. In the distance, you see the Aston Martingale at the docks. You overhear centurion asking your dad for help. Centurion leaves. They seem to be in agreement. They shake hands. And your dad turns and sees you. What does he want you to do? They're going for a supply run. Yeah, but that's not safe. Centurion and Ellen believe they have a, a chance. And that means we have a chance. But they could literally ask anyone else to run this. Your mother and I and you are the best at what we do here. Yeah, but we we don't need to be the errand runners. They can find someone else to go do it. Brent, it, it is a chance for me to get what we need. I still don't understand why somebody else can't go. No one's been coming back from supply runs. I don't even know why we're still doing them. They should stay at the main island and figure out what's going on and ask for help instead of just continuing to send people out to die. We don't know they're dead. They haven't returned. There's no reason to believe they could be. Those oceans are scary. We can't no see anything. There's no reason to believe I won't come back either. Whatever. I don't think you should do it. Bryn, I'm going? That's final. And he walks off. And he goes to the smithy area to go talk to your mother. I would believe that you could either listen in or you could go to bed. Uh, I'll listen in. Your mom is equally upset. Told you, Dad. Why doesn't he listen? But he works her down to understanding and agreeing. When you're listening, you hear in the distance just a little bit of a crack of thunder. The smell of moisture builds up the air. It's going to be a, a light rain middle of the night. Your dad and your mom turn to come your way. Uh, what do you do? I'm going to run back in the house so they don't find me. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Uh, Meridian Otto, has taught Jordy, me. can you roll perception oh. checks? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... That's that's a nat one. Uh, can I can I narrate what happens? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Bryn will just kind of like tumble her way into the kitchen, <laughs> and then is there like bread anywhere nearby? Or absolutely. Okay, so she starts to hurriedly try to make toast. Like she just came downstairs. That's why she made a sound. Hi, you guys want toast? Bit late for toast. My God, it's never too late for toast. Your mom says yes. Your dad goes off to. Bed. Mom. Bryn. Why did you agree? Well, other than his stubbornness, he has a point. Yeah, but if we had two against one, he couldn't go. That's the rule. I can help here while he gets what we need. <sighs> and you can help me. Yeah, but who's going to help dad if something happens out there? One of the cohorts. You want to trust them? Why shouldn't we? Because Meridian gets past them every other week. It's not like they're very good at their job. It's just Meridian, though. Okay, but if... Meridian can get past them, they're going to deal with people out there that are even, like, more scary. We kind of just have to have faith. <sighs> okay, fine. But can, can like, at least pack his bag? Like, where's all his stuff at? It's going to be over by the smithy. Okay, I'm going to go take care of that for him. Okay. Good night. Love you. Love you, too. Remember, we have a early day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'll be ready. So, Bryn will sneak into the smithy and basically pack his bag and then take it. Mm-hmm. Um... And she's going to make sure she wakes up before everyone else and get to the docks before them. You stay up, and a passing rain comes by. In that rain, little cracks of lightning and thunder, you see in the rain a figure just outside the smith shop. Their, their silhouette is definitely someone you haven't seen before. Taller and bigger than anyone you've really met. When the lightning flashes you see a bronzish outline of this person. It's not a not a, a human or an elven like face. You see a very reptilian face. Mm. And now I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. That was a nat one. Okay. Avenge that dice. I, I need new ones now. Oh that's yeah, three. <laughs> okay. 
I've got these dice right here. Oh, okay. I'll just use his. You got it. <laughs> You're going to catch That was prison. a joke. I th yeah, because you hate his dice. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to shit talk your dice. They're used to it. Bad. You should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens in that flash of lightning? It's still raining, but there's no smithy shot. There instead are small pots made of turf and straw. A handful of these same silhouette figures in the night, they are grabbing spears and rushing down to where the docks should be, but you don't see the docks. Excuse me, and I'm gonna go up to one of them. Uh, you run up to one. When you reach out to yell, you see that your hand is a claw. I look down, is the rest of me something different? It is something different. Um, okay. You're no longer, it looks like a half elf. Mm -hmm. You're something else. I don't have a body. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but does she have a body? <laughs> That's very important. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Siri thought you were talking to her. <laughs> um, yeah, Brand just kind of is like, okay, whatever. Uh, I mean, not completely, but she's just trying to understand. So she continues to go up to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. They turn to you and they're kind of in a panic, in a rush. They're like, yeah, take this. They're arriving. Who, who is arriving? The deep ones. And they run. Brand's going to run and follow. And w what year is it? They don't seem to respond to that, not because they're not listening or reacting. They don't understand that question. You get the context clues that it's definitely not the same time. Obviously. But they're also focused on what seems to be deep ones arriving. Is this, is this their first time coming to the island? It's their third time. Why do they keep coming back? We don't know. What do they want from you? They just Come and slay us. Oh, God. You're following this person. Mm hmm And you get close enough to the shore, you see, as the lightning flashes, Dragonborn. Mm-hmm. That's fighting, what I figured they were. Fighting Shawagan on the beach. Storm ends, just like, almost like a flash. Sunny, bright day. The Dragonborn, there's less of him. They're taking care of, of wounded ones. There are little dragonborn running around. Uh, you can't tell if there was a, what type of time jump this was, but you see a ship, a wooden ship, not too dissimilar to what uh, Meridian's family would own. It's in the distance with a boat and a elvish man pulling up. Uh, the dragonborn, the one that you spoke to, stands up. He's now got uh, a scar across his neck, uh, the side of his neck, and he approaches and they discuss why is this elf here? Okay. Does he look familiar? Roll a uh, history. 14. In the haunted manor, in the baby room, there was a photo on a shelf, dusty old one. Okay. And this person looks very similar. Okay. He speaks up and he proclaims that his ship is the Astern Liberty. And his name is Jorman Portbrow. And they, he seems to be nice, mm -hmm. kind. Uh, his style is a little different than what you're familiar with. It looks very Victorian age. Time kind of fades well, one last time, like a time lapse how some of the tufts go away, new houses are built. The mine is getting made, and you see that the dragonborn that were here are wearing shackles. And there's very, very few of them left. The dragonborn that you talked to with the scar, you know, has a shackle around his neck. And there's a, a number, three, five, one. And he's talking to what looks to be a kin, maybe a, a child that belongs to them or something. And the child calls the dragonborn by their name, Ryu. Lightning flash. There's no figure in the rain. And you're in the blacksmith shop. 
what thoughts are going through Bryn's mind right now? Um, she's just really confused. She's never experienced that before. Uh, she takes out a notebook and writes it all down. And then she goes to try to find like one of her dad's books that might explain how this could happen because it has to be magic related. When you go to pick up the journal, for a moment you swear your skin was still bronze. Interesting. As the night comes to an end, early morning, your parents aren't up yet. And you see uh, some people are working on the docks already. Uh, Bryn's going to brush to the docks and tell them that she's taking her dad's place. And you get on to the ship and you wait in the cargo mm-hmm. until a familiar face. Yes, until I find Murdy and doing the same thing. <laughs> Bryn, you are in the room with the mural. Your friends are around you. Trace has casted a spell. Okay. From a scroll. Gills have appeared on the back of everyone's ears. You are holding, I forget what object, but you're holding an object that has the light spell turned on. It's probably my potion bottle for focus. You guys are making your choices. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, we already casted the spell. We only got two and a half hours. We should probably roll. Yeah. Is it dark without the light spell? Pitch black. Yeah, I want no, the, I, no moonlight, no nothing seeping in. You're deep underground now. I would like the light, personally. I, I, I'd like that as well. Yeah, I don't know what we might see under there. I know it's risky, but I'd rather see it coming, personally. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Mm. All right, you go under, and you see that as Halak goes in the water, he's like, actually okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. I thought he would sink, right? Doesn't it feel like he would just... He is a stouty little fellow. I can see that. I'm quite buoyant right here, and I point yeah. to the massive <laughs> gun he's got. <laughs> Makes sense. That checks out. It feels a little weird at first. Yeah, okay. Because when you breathe, it's like you want... Your body initially wants to drown. Mm-hmm. But then after a, a couple times in and out breathing, you kind of get the sense of like... Okay, it does work, as the air filters through the back of your ears. Trace takes to it immediately. He's like, this feels right. <laughs> why are you? This is, this is what I always wanted. <laughs> why, are you, why are you smiling? What? Oh, no, I'm scared, too. Um, I like the water. I don't know what to tell you. I like it. Within the 20-foot radius of light, you see that the wall is of the cavern. So it's a pretty tight tunnel. There's a top, bottom. There is no, no airflow at the top. Okay, now I really don't like this. So Trace, we're, stop smiling. I'm sorry. This is fun. <laughs> you just turn to Halog and his mouth is just open like a shark because he thinks that he has to constantly filter. <laughs> <laughs> Halog, you can keep your mouth closed. Oh. Everything just works. <laughs> oh. Can someone roll for me on the Underworld Clock? Oh. One D6. Oh, boy. No. no. We're at three, right? Yep. I've got it. Hmm. <laughs> Unless you want to do it, Rolling buddy. No, to it. Less to not get I don't want it to be my fault. <laughs> I'm happy to be the person of blame. Oh, That's God. a five. five. It was going to be a six. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, God. What do we find? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a helpless little puffer fish. Jordy's and then the fake tears. Let's get some more moisture up in here. <laughs> <laughs> not enough yet. As you guys are swimming forward, you see three little dots floating in the Rudy, water. What the fuck is that? Coming closer, you guys, what closer, the fuck is that? until the light turns on, and there are sharp teeth, large head, colorful fish Gross. that spot you and speed towards you. Roll initiative. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Jordy, mm-hmm. you see in front of you three fish. Yep. Coming towards you. Yep. Uh, oh, they're like evil flounders. They're like evil little well, flounders. Fish, yeah. They all have four eyes. Oh. Mm. Their teeth are about. Three inches. Mm-hmm. And they got a little glowing light on top of their head. Oh, well, they're those ones from, like, at the bottom of the ocean. Trace uh, is going to draw both his swords, and I'm going to swing. I'm going to pull out my uh, new black, or my black rapier, which I have named Eclipse. 
for thematic reasons. Are you talking to your sword over there? I'm talking to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you. He's pointing to a wall. I'm talking to this guy. I think he's talking to his god or something. Eclipse, go! I choose you! <laughs> uh, and he's, he's gonna swing with his new sword. That's gonna be an 11 to hit. Hit. Oh, wow! These are these are weak little boys. That is a 12 to hit. And hits. Great damage for that. 18. 18 with each swing. Each swing? Filet. <laughs> Whoa. Did one do it? No. <laughs> okay. Good to know. One fish is down. Great. Trace, cut it up. Can you just bleeding. take care of them for us? I'll do my best! <laughs> fish blood starts to fill the water. It's Ew. probably not good. <laughs> can you contain that or something? <gasps> Trace tries to inhale as much of the blood, <laughs> blood as he can. Uh, and then he, he constitutes his every throw. Oh, uh, God. No. <laughs> I'm going to filter this water in me. <laughs> uh, 19. Wait, such a you're good. Luck. Wow. On top of it. <laughs> it's like, it's good like water. inhaling sand as it blows into your face. He we have food. food Labrador. And it smells like, and it kind of tastes like pee at the same time. Uh, uh, yeah. We have food. Why are you eating it's it? It's probably good protein. Anyway. Oh, um, I just didn't want it to get on us. I figured uh, he could take care of it. Drace is gonna uh, move uh, a little over to to the next guy and do his uh, his bonus swing. Go for uh, that bonus swing. Heck yeah. Is this with the normal sword? This is with just normal sword who does not have a name but has a crude doodle of a moon on the hill. <laughs> uh, who are you talking to? <laughs> I Go, Doodle, I choose you! <laughs> uh, that's 18 to hit. 18 to hit? That hits. Great. Uh, that is a much... That That's just going to be uh, seven damage on that boy. Why did Trace turn his hat around backwards? Um, but, but yeah, he just fully X's out the first one and then spins and, like, with his backhand, like, stabs this next guy in the gill. <laughs> yeah, it hurts, we know, when you get poked there. <laughs> Do you name your daggers too, Meridian? No, I mean, yeah, but I don't say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Move up near my buddy Trace, and then I'm gonna turn back, and I'm gonna say, wait, give me the light. Um, and then this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna use magic. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm gonna turn back and uh, cast Mage Hand, but I took telekinetic, so there's no verbal, somatic, or material component. So I basically just turn back and like, give me the light, and I don't even know what I'm doing, and I grab the potion bottle from your hand. <gasps> like, she's like a natural. I was like, I can't see this guy, and I want to move the, po the lit potion bottle mm -hmm. over so it lights the fish, okay. but not us, and can't hitty one now because I uh, used magic and it took more energy than I expected. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, that happens. You'll get used to it. I'm like, oh, crap. And then I like look around and then I'm going to try to duck and hide behind this coral. Are you still holding the the potion bottle? Up? Yeah, the mage okay. hand is is. Oh, it's holding. Yeah, it there. so it looks like the potion the potion bottle is just like floating, floating in the there. middle of the cavern. That is so cool. I wish I knew how to do that. That was a Me nat too. 20 for myself. Bro. Great. Nice. I have to beat a nat 20 to spot you. <laughs> It's going to be really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to well, give? You said the fish has four eyes. That's true. So. We'll see if they make it to their turn. Roll with quadruple advantage. And then I, I go and I hide, and I'm like, whoa. And then I, like, like what? It's still in the air? Okay, so I can't see the anything. The light got pulled out. You can't see really. I mean, you could do this and you see yourself a bit, mm -hmm. but you see the light source has been moved up there, and it's getting a little mucky. It's hard to tell what's going on in the light because all the debris that's between you and that light source. Okay, I'm gonna try to go through it to find the fish so I can stab one of them. Great, you have a swim speed? Was I supposed to look that up? You probably don't. You probably don't, so you're half movement. Are you close enough to trace though? Once you get within 10 feet, you are unaffected by it. Okay. Great, so you'll spend half your movement to get to trace, and then you get your other half back. Okay, great. And then you want to get to the light, right? Yeah, because I want to stab one of the fish. Race and Meridian, you see Bryn just swim past and get into the light. Okay, Bryn is just going to plot her uh, rapier and attack Mr. Fishy. Attacking Mr. Yep. Fishy. No, I didn't want to have to use that already. Did you roll in that one? Yes. That's, that's three already. I know. So you, roll for, diet, so you roll for the underworld clock, but none of the other employees. Yeah, 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 got yeah. it. I don't know if that's going to hit. Uh, it might. Watch, 15. You just on that. 
15. Hit. Okay. Oh, piercing. So she stabs it right. Well, is the mouth in front of my face? Or is uh, it the... uh, <laughs> yeah, she's going to stab it right through the mouth. <laughs> some bl- some fish blood go- uh, goes up. Halig. In the dark. A red dwarf can dream. A red dwarf who up until this point has been affected by this spell and aura of trace feels suddenly able to move and little sparks start to appear on his body as he has a swim speed now is going to take 30 feet of movement go right to that fish from the fish's perspective I come out of the darkness axe in hand and I come down and try to bisect it go for it I'm gonna just take this and put it right there oh sorry thank you that is an 18 to hit. Uh, that is 19 points of slashing damage. Uh, this fish dies as you yeah. cut it in half. With the momentum that I've swung into this underwater, I'm going to fully spin around and barely miss the top of Bryn's head and go for a second strike <gasps> as I move five feet additionally and hit the other one. Can you be careful? Sorry. I'm right here. That is a 14 to hit. That hits, but as you swim forward for five feet, I want you to make a constitution saving throw as you go into this sure. like, fish blood. Oh. Ah. Yo, I'm like peeking from the corner. I was like, fish guts are to be avoided. Every fishing family knows uh, this. It is a dirty 20. Uh, yeah, you're good. You get a There's something cough. up with his blood. Yeah, it's bad. We've just gotten lucky. <laughs> Especially after you sucked it in. These are definitely venomous fish, and we've gotten very lucky. Yeah. Uh, I, I took the unnecessarily risk of trying to filter feed yeah, it. Yeah, breathe it, yeah. Trace feels a buzz, for sure, but he's good. <laughs> uh, that's 19 points of slashing damage again. The third fish. Sliced. Trace, I think you could take some pointers from Halleck. What? He got them killed faster than you did. I I still Ooh. killed one and a half. Well, if Meridian hadn't done magic, she probably would have just killed all of them. That's very true. Trace, I'm Trace still... starts shadow boxing the water. <laughs> he's, he's like, it's getting better. <laughs> kind of hard. I'm, Even I'm, for you, that's a bit hard. Still feeling a little weird about that. And I step out and I like point at the fact that, po- that I'm still like holding the potion oh, no, bottle. This is but totally not. normal. I've read about this in my dad's books. And it's like, it's essentially like an extension of your magic. Remember how you said it? I could see like the tethered thing that was to your hand. So it's kind of like you've just separated it, but it's still a part of you. Still really weird. And then I, uh, it's super I, cool, I, make, I like shake the little potion bottle in the, in the air. Have you been magic this whole time? That's what my grandma said. But we just found out when we entered the cave, so I don't know. I've never Apparently sensed it. Apparently it's something she said like all the time, but never to me. I'll tell you when you're older. I also recently <laughs> became magic. It's hard. Let me know if you have any questions. I can give you some winners or <laughs> It's a trace thing. Anyways, let's keep going forward. What is, what is, what's a, what? Anyway. I feel fuck over to trace and go, I think Eclipse is a cool name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he like he's like I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, guys, avoid these blood clouds. We're gonna walk around. Yeah, I, I was already. Yeah, I was gonna do that. Oh, is Chase gonna be okay? He sucked it in. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you vibing over there? I'm feeling great, man. Can we, how, 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 Go ahead and give me a deck save as the. The blood kind of like starts to filter outward a bit more. Oh, is that save. all of us? Deck save, everyone. Add three to it. Ooh, add three? Yeah. Because wow. this is something aura. that I can see, so I get advantage. A nine. I have Great. a very Roll meridian. On save. I have a very meridian score. I have a 25. Did you add I got a, a 26. Oh, uh, that would be 11. Did, or no, 12, excuse add, me. Uh, how, did you add three to it from my aura? No, I just did. But uh, yeah, I still so failed. 12? No. Uh, constitution save, that's an 18. Okay. I got a 26 on the deck save. 25. You're great. Great. You guys swim by. Halleck gets a little <coughs> and keeps going. Hmm. Uh, I think as we continue, I'm going to continue holding the the light in front of us versus like on us specifically. So it's like guiding and fr- Yeah, sure. Telekinetic. So it's 60. Scratch. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> At 60 feet. Let's just Too gauge far. the visual in our brains, right? Mm-hmm. Too far. So it's 60 feet away, it is just a glowing orb in muckiness. Right. At 30 feet, you vaguely can see the spectacles of water inside of it. Right. We 15 can... is a lot clearer. Mm-hmm. So that's the gauge. Let's... You guys can pick. 
I don't know, like, and I were probably like swimming and I was like, wait, this far? No, this far. And then I'm like pu pushing it like too far this way and that. Right here, I'll stop around like 30 feet where it's dim, but you can still kind of see. Right. Is this good? I yeah. You so. can you can just I, barely see each other's faces from the light. I think that's good. Cool, great. And then I like it like moves a little bit before I get it steady and if nothing else, if there's something up there, it'll probably attack that bulb first. That's true. I have more, it's fine. Worse for me. That's more mostly for me. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen fish like that before? They're not like super good to eat. Okay. So I yeah, I, I was What are they called? I don't know what are they called. <laughs> You tell me. Dangler fish. They're dangler fish. <laughs> dangler fish. <laughs> dangler fish good for medicine, huh? Yeah, but you don't usually eat them because they're poisonous if not actually prepared Ooh. properly. You, cut, you stuck your face in the cloud before I could say that. There's actually, you know, uh, sailor scrying. You shouldn't dingle a dangle. <laughs> So that's oh. what that's about. Right, yeah. Okay, I thought it was yeah. something else. No, no. It's def okay, it's, gotcha. It's definitely about fish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was very wrong. Trace, what's up? Can you roll a wisdom saving throw? Okay. Because as you are coming thing. closer, you see from with the light that this tunnel is now splitting left and right, and then up and down. That twenty. Get wrecked, yeah. <laughs> dude. Yeah. You but like, are Jordy, save those for battle. Trace is wise. <laughs> you are coming towards a four-way intersection, up, down, left, and right. Uh -huh. And you know exactly which one to go to, and you go up. Great. I, like, is there any like particular reason or feeling that it, that that he he just knows? You feel like similar to the concern when you discovered you had divination spells on you. Mm -hmm. That something is distracting you, and you work your way through that just very quickly. And you're like, no that way mission mm. the yeah he trace just like feels in his gut like the current like from that that bad energy is like right there and mm -hmm. he just goes seeing this i'll turn to Bryn and i'll just motion a doggy paddle <laughs> <laughs> oh he is trace oh, and flies by <laughs> he is at home here in the water Bryn starts doggy paddling. <laughs> it's proper form i don't know what to tell you do you hey. shout that Shh. No. <laughs> that is a bit. <laughs> Alec. Oy. That is Jordan's that was, bit. That was, <laughs> you only this one's good, Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Trace or Meridian sees this, but um, Bryn and um, Hollow Grotto. <laughs> the light ahead of you comes to ripple water as if it's a surface. I think. I think this is where we exit. Maybe we should check it out. I go look, and then I'm gonna put my ring on and suffer the consequences. Yeah. I'll roll that d8. Two. Make a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Oh boy. Twenty-two. Yes. You're good. Keep going. I'm gonna very slowly rise. You. And then uh, yeah, and try to move like so slowly, like come up to the edge of like the cavern wall, so I'm not just like dog paddling and then like brace myself and slowly peek up just eyes. Trace is gonna just hover like 10 feet below the surface just so she has full freedom of movement just to like spot Fleet her. Apocalypse now style. It is dark in this room. You see a little heat source in the distance. Small person. That look like a halfling sized person or a person who's far away? Halfling. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do my best to emerge slowly from the water and then slowly climb out. Okay. You climb out, like you said. Walk through this darkness and as... as I'm trying to make very careful steps. Little breaths of heat pop different spots. Oh, like little, uh, like little geothermic. Yeah, little oh. geothermic. Okay. So is it? So if I've, as I've like emerged from the room, it's a little warmer in this like mm -hmm. cavern than some of the other ones. Mm. Interesting. I'll continue to make my way towards the figure, and as you sneak in this room, you're extra quiet, extra stealthy. You get closer to this halfling figure. It is shaped extremely familiar. It's uncanny, mm -hmm. and you start to hear. Singing in the air. 
and it sounds like your grandma again. And when you get closer to the figure, it looks like your grandmother. And as you look around, you see glimpses of uh, heat reflect off piles of coins. Um, how far have I crossed across the room, like the space of the cavern? How close did you get to this person? Um, close enough to see and recognize them, but not close enough to, like, disturb them or move the air. I'd say you moved 30 feet. <laughs> I'm going to, using my new found magical powers, use Mage Hand just to tap the person gently on the shoulder yeah. and see what happens. As the finger touches the shoulder, the head snaps. The eyes are black and cold. Is there a thief? I I say nothing. The figure stands, walks. Uh, does not walk like your grandmother. I smell you. Um, I'm going to use the hand to uh, knock a pile of gold across the room and scatter it across the floor into the cold pool that they were looked to be watching. As you do that, you turn to do that, and you turn back, the figure is already gone, and you turn back to where the coins were, and the figure is already at the gold, collecting it. What are you? Little thief. Um, I'm going to step back towards the pool that I came from. As you back up, it's already there going somewhere. At this point, I'm going to take out a dagger and hold an action. Uh, to fling it at the creature if it makes an attempt on me or my friends. Right. You guys. Mm -hmm. I've lost a, the fourth game of Rochambeau in a row. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not much time has passed yet. Mm -hmm. You're good. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Grace is just trying to, because he was spotting uh, Meridian initially, he's just kind of keeping a little bit of an eye out. You're just too obvious. I can tell exactly what you're going to do right before you pick it. Rocks start to... Oh, I'm gonna swim up, but like kind of try to do it carefully, like to look up. And then uh, I would like t to speak to the creature. So as you guys get up, yeah, what Meridian first notices is like breathing heat. You see little dim light flicker mm -hmm. from crystals in the wall. Ah, I see. The the water that's re being reflected is being lit by these crystals in the mm -hmm. rocks. Mm -hmm. You see it reflect off of the gold. Can you guys make an insight check at disadvantage because of the darkness? Uh, 16. Eight. Big five. You guys see Meridian just right in front of you, basically? <gasps> Wait, you took your ring off? No. Then we don't see Meridian. You see Meridian, you in, see front Meridian you. in front of you. Oh. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, so we think we see Meridian. We don't. Mm -hmm. I see. Wait. Trace, Meridian would never take off her ring unless something happened. I am a thief. If I leave from here and take nothing, will you let us pass? Even if I let you go, you'll just steal from another. Return when I slumber. If I leave a token, and I'm gonna, I do wanna move. If I leave you with a token, will you let us pass? <sighs> Did you think I would come alone? It's nice to know rats still stay in packs. Well, that's not very nice, and I'm gonna sling my knife at her. <gasps> Go ahead. And uh, roll your attack roll. Meridian's dead! It's not an impossible, AC. Uh, 21. Hits. 
What's the damage? Uh, that is 28 points of damage. So as you throw the dagger, the dagger materializes. And you guys see a shimmer of light go towards Meridian, that you think is Meridian. And the dagger stabs her in the chest. And then you see another halfling materialize uh-huh. in the distance. Uh-huh. It's, it's messed up. This is this, something's wrong. There's two meridians. <laughs> <laughs> like her hair looks better than earlier. Okay, you guys definitely see, believe Meridian just got hit by a, a moving object, and as you become on, you become visible. You see green eyes coming from your grandmother. I look at it. Is there a glimmer of recognition at all? Not a single one. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity to bonus action hide with my cunning action. Uh, 18. I will just grit my teeth and fling another dagger. Go ahead and roll a con saving throw. 17. As you draw the dagger, static electricity from the room erupts from the crystals and go to the dagger. And you get shocked for three points of lightning. Whoa. Interesting, that's okay. less. And then I will fling the dagger I just drew. It'd be a 27 to hit. Hits. 25 points of damage. Wonderful hit, absolutely wonderful. Great job. Hi, friends, I'm over here. Uh-huh. What? Bad. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you guys didn't know that? Brain just hits Trace in the arm. <laughs> Make a death saving throw. No. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm gonna pull out my short bow. Uh, Bryn, it is your turn. I really hope this hits. Okay. Um, since Bryn now knows where actual Meridian is and that this person seems to be a fake, mm-hmm. um, she's going to hold out her potion bottle in the air and she's gonna cast um, Chromatic Orb and I'm gonna choose Lightning. A dirty 20. It hits. Brynn, she takes out her potion bottle, kind of like shakes in the air, like swirls it around and then points it at her. And she's like, leave my best friend alone. Time to barbecue, bitch. (laughs) That was sick. Way to have my back. You notice the electricity is almost absorbed by this creature. I can hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's running around in a place where there's a bunch of static electricity, so I was like, she's probably has some. I just wanted to use my cool feature where now I can add my charisma to yeah. my lightning. You did great. You did great. Yeah. Except, no, because she didn't even take any of the damage. You made a great choice. If it's a lightning dragon, then yeah, probably no. not. <sighs> so I understand this person's an enemy now. You do. Cool. I'm gonna get Bring up. just through electricity at it. Yeah. Are you gonna? Oh yeah. Move? No, I was like, hi. From the other side of the no, yeah, I'm yeah, fine. Yeah. Where I'm. I mean, I guess I'll get onto the rock right next to us. Yeah. That. That's it. What are you gonna do, Halleck? It's totally. Fine. I'm gonna get out of the water. I'm gonna walk towards this person, seeing that she's been hit by magic and not doing like it's not doing anything to her form. Against his better. It was ju- absorbed. Oh, it was absorbed. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna rage. Uh, yes, you are. Cool. Yep. I am going to. This might come back to bite me in the butt, but I don't care. I am gonna go reckless. Ooh. Cool. I needed that. Uh, that is a 27 to hit. Hits. 21 points of slashing damage. 21 points of slashing. As I rage, two sparks will start to come off of my body, and then a second attack. Whew, 15. Does not hit. Cool. As my bone, I use my bonus action to rage, but I'll come up, slice across, and then just whiff uh, at, as I'm going for like a taller person. And that will be my turn. It has absorbed electricity, and the electricity now starts to wave around this halfling person. And it starts to grow and no. grow. No. It grows <laughs> into a massive bronze dragon. Turquoise fins. No, not that new yeah, one. Yeah, it's fucking huge. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. I didn't think it would be that big. I you did. so sorry. <laughs> 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 Mr. Sir. <laughs> Rin, you notice a scar around its neck, shackle around its throat, arcane runes around its shackle. 
shackles around its wrists and its ankles. Infinity? Has so everyone yeah. within yeah. 60 yeah. feet, please make a deck saving throw. God damn. I think that's all of us. Yeah. That's everyone. Except uh, for Meridian? No, no Meridian no, is I'm just an edge. Oh. I'm so fucked. Who has an inspiration? I don't. Uh, 17. 10. 9. 14. Everyone takes 22. Holy shit. Wait, Points of lightning. You half. take half. 11. You take half because of your thing. As you see, the lightning goes around him. It goes in. It doesn't fully hit his body as I'm resistant to lightning now. Mm-hmm. I'm and I, t- I take the full. <laughs> yes. And I, I also take half as I dodge out of the way. You dodge. Then. Another bad thing to happen. You're yeah, right there. I am. And you have advantage on me because I went reckless. Okay. The first hit was a natural one. The second one. Eat it, dragon. Was a, I rolled a four. So for a total of 17. A 17 hits. Great. Uh, you take 20 points of slashing damage, halved, because you're raging. Mm-hmm. That is its turn. Ooh. Then. But. Because the, the dragon's others, not enough. Uh-huh. Right. It's got dragonborn minions. Who's this bitch? I rolled a 17, so that no, plus. No. no. Have you seen one of my uh, know, but, my reactionary dice to but, subtract? Sure, sure, hold on. But, but he still has to add a plus to the 17, so that might not be worth doing it. Yeah. Plus is a three, so a total of a 20. I so roll exactly you have to roll a four or higher for this to not hit you. I can do it. It's only two sorcery points. <laughs> I rolled a four. You! As this unseen creature runs up, throws... A magical net. The net becomes visible, electricity going through it, and it lands just around you versus on you. As the the visibility wears off, a shawagan appears. Boo! Another shawagan. What's your what's your AC? Eighteen. I rolled a natural nineteen. Can I have used my reaction to cast shield? So you don't get wrapped up by the net, <laughs> but you take the lightning damage. Okay. Trey, there is now a shawagan standing in front of you. Well, first things first, Trace is going to get the hell out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Great call. <laughs> but you love it Wait, so Which much. way would you like to go? Trace wants to get a look at this thing and its green eyes, and it's like, I, I want to look at it. Like, see if these are the eyes of the thing that, like, destroyed our ship. The Aston Martingale? Yeah, because I was the one that made direct eye contact with it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and make a insight with advantage. Come cool. on, Trace. And as also part of this, I want to try and get a look at, like you said, collar runes situation. Sure. Shit. Oh, with advantage, you said. Oh, with advantage? Yeah. Great, thank God. That was a good question. Ugh, God. Still bad. Still not good. Said it was an insight. So 11. I rolled bad. But I will say it absolutely resembles the colors and the uniforms of the three. The bronze, the turquoise, is the color of the bronze dragon as well as the three. Y'all do match. Uh, The mini matches the little dragon. uh, (laughs) Though you can't, like, say for certain... That's the thing. Mm-hmm. When staring into those eyes, uh-huh. you have the same feeling like you did back then. Okay. Gotcha. What I do next is going to depend on what it says back. I'm going to yell at it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to yell at it nicely, right? Yeah. <laughs> yell at it nicely, please. <laughs> yeah. Dragon, sir, first off, we're really sorry. Second off, do you want to be working with these shark people? turns its head to you. I ask as a humber, humble member of the three. It's its head is as big as your body. Yup. As it would speak, you see the runes <laughs> around the collar. <laughs> I will devour you. Interesting. That's good enough for Trace. I have but four level one spell slots. Will you allow me to burn two to make it a level two spell slot? Absolutely. Fuck yes. Okay, 
I'm going to burn two spell slots to Misty Step onto the dragon's neck to try and take that thing off. To try and trade. You said it was the runes or the collars? The runes collar? on the collar. I'm going to try and take the collar off. I'm going to get up there. <laughs> what does it look like when you Misty Step? Trace is just going to kind of call upon the moon. Okay. He like touches the air and there's like, it's like a drop in a pool, a little bluish tinted moon and he like hops through it. <laughs> that looks so silly. There you are. That's, that feels like an accurate representation of what it's like to be on the back of a, ne- a dragon's neck. <laughs> you, and there's a collar right there. You grab it. Cool. I'm going to pull out my rapier and just try to break it. Okay, when you pull out your rapier, roll a constitution saving throw. Yeah, I know. Hmm? Ooh. 20. 30, 20. 21. Oh. Why? <laughs> As you pull out the rapier, electricity comes off of the scales of the back of the dragon, mm-hmm. hits the blade, goes up your arm, and shocks you for seven points of lightning damage. Jeez. 16 to hit? 16 hits. Yes. 18 damage. So you pull it out, shocks you, and you go for the stab on it. A scratch on it. Mm hmm. But it, it took the damage. It took the damage? Yep. Uh, I'm going to attack again. Go for it. <laughs> Come on. Thanks. I'm trying to help you! <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a uh, 23 to hit. Hit. That's another uh, 18 damage. <laughs> I'm trying to help! <laughs> this is me helping! This is me helping! <laughs> I'm like, what is he doing? But also, that's sick. Meridian, it is your turn. And... Am I, am I able to see everything that Trace is doing and uh, like to the collar over here? I would say from the back, it's hard because Trace is there where the collar is very visible up front. Boom, great. 30, 35. There you go. And then I'm going to bonus action dash with my cunning, cunning action for another 35. Oh, hell yes. Five, 10, ah. 15. 20, and then a one square jump, 25, 30. Hot 30. damn. Wow. Can I, I can see. You can see the collar. I'm, I'm going to stand there in front of the dragon, look up at my friend, like whipping around and say, yeah, I'm a thief, but locks are made to be broken and cast knock on the collar. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. That's I had to take it as an arcane trickster. Oh, that's fucking awesome. You just saved our lives. Um, choose an object you can see within range. Must be It can be a door, chest, box, set of manacles, padlock, or any other object that contains a mundane or magical means to prevent access. Um, target held shut by a lock or is stuck becomes unlock, unstuck, unbarred, and if there's multiple locks, only one of them. Um, and oh, and then as I say that, there's this loud, audible sound of something hitting against like hard, the hard stone or like metal of the collar that echoes like throughout the whole room. I love that. That's so sick. We stand a short king and queen. Trace and Meridian. You see the runes around the collar turn off. The collar is still around its neck. How long is it suppressed? Ten minutes. Okay. Bryn, there's a shawagan in front of you or behind you. Yeah, I'm ignoring him. Um, I'd (laughs) like to go up near Halleck. Hippity hoppity. You can put me on the other side of him. Okay. Bryn looks up at the dragon and she says, Oh, mighty one, I had a flashback and I saw your kin, Ryu. I think you need to trust my friends to let us free you. I saw what they did to you and how they imprisoned you. We're not here to steal from you. We're here to save you. Roll a persuasion with advantage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pitch a you fit got it. these are both low. I'm gonna move my... What'd you get? I got 20 with yes! a plus seven. <laughs> yes! with, with a plus seven. Ooh. Oh, wow. Thank God. 
Woo! Well the other done. one was a 15, so we were still okay. Yeah. Okay. Bren, you saved our lives. Wow. Ooh. It looks down at you. Trace, you're like, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it Hold looks, on. It looks down at you. Bren waves at him. Hi! Yeah, I saw him and you. What they did to you all in the mines. Someone decided to show it to me. You, for a moment, see through its eyes and sees you. You see yourself. And you feel the thoughts and emotions going through its mind. Loss, entrapment, fear, Mm -hmm. anxiety, and regret, and shame. You come out of its mind and see it there, and you see your hand. They're bronze. What? You're, you see bronze scales. But I'm so, still elven, right? You're still elven. You see bronze scales okay. as electricity yeah. <laughs> tickles your skin. And everywhere where the electricity touches, bronze scales appear. <laughs> but we want to help you. Two things happen at once. A spear is thrown at the dragon. <gasps> Who's the bitch I got set on fire? And another spear is thrown. What's your AC? 18, my dude. Dirty 20. Shit. A spear hits you in the back. Mm -hmm. Two shawagan appear and two spears go flying. Six piercing damage. A dragon takes six piercing damage. It uh, raises its head and screams in pain. And as it rises up and sees you see more scars and points of stabs uh, and scales lost on its belly. I'm going to use my last two sorcery points. Mm -hmm. And that guy over there, I'm going to cast Fireball. Oh my god. And right before I do, I turn to Halleck and I say, get the other one. (laughs) Kill him. Alex looks very excited. (laughs) (laughs) You drew closer to him. Um, So Bryn takes her potion bottle out and she's shaking it really hard. You guys are going to pay for everything that you've done. Trace. Yep. Can you roll a d20? This is is for someone else. This is someone else's dex. Cool, yeah, I'll use my bad dice. Nat one. Yeah! <laughs> that counts as a crit. Yeah. <laughs> so how do we what do, how do we do Max that? Max damage. Uh, you what, what's eight d six? What's that's a lot. Uh, forty. Forty? No, isn't that forty eight? No, forty eight. Yeah, it is forty eight. Yeah. Jeez. What does it look like when you cast fireball? So Brynn is just furious, and like I said, she was shaking her her potion bottle, and she said, "You're gonna, you are gonna die and suffer and." burn for everything you've done to everyone on this island and everyone that I love and her hands just come forward and shoot forward and huge fireballs mass out as they boom 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 hit him and everything around him this is not going to sound cinematic he's gone Yay. Just, a big yeah, bright, yeah. Charred. just a chard. Trace is upside down. He's like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a crispy skin salmon left there. Uh, whatever Incredible. was in this pile, it's gone. <laughs> That's fine. That's so sick. You guys are familiar with these minis. Oh, yeah. Hello, Always friends. Always Bryn who pulls them out. <laughs> Hello, friends. Well, After, one of the times they were already out, and then we just yeah. After Bryn does that, and she stares at Halleck, and just kind of in her eyes is like, fucking finish the other guy and she's just like raging. I feel such a kindred spirit <laughs> in my family connection. I'll take the chance. I will get get out of there and then move around and go, oh, hey, Meridian. Ah! And then leap uh, over the gold and try to hit this guy. What a fun visual. Uh, 18. 18, that hits. You you just come slamming down with the ax on the shawagan. Uh, he 19 damage. Oh, I'm so sorry. 21 damage. Ew. Yeah. Get him. I'm Rajing. How does he die? I split him. Yeah. In half. I go, yeah. <laughs> gonna, yes. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna pop back over to where Bryn is, if I can, with 35 feet of movement. You get next to me. Yes. My apologies, Meridian. Uh, and I'm gonna take out my sling and I'm gonna 
for try to hit that guy over there, the far one. Uh, 16 to hit. It's hit. How much? <laughs> it takes three points of damage and is pushed five feet back. <laughs> so funny. Five feet? Five feet, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Mist starts to enter the room. Oh, no. Ooh. A spark of light happens over behind the shawagan that you just threw uh, a rock at. Mm-hmm. That light was a pink f- spark of light. Don't. This shawagan right here uh-huh. behind the dragon. Trace, you're th- the best person to see it. It dives into the water. Ha! <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bye. It's not for me. The shawagan by the bones and the anchor goes to turn around, sees the flash of light, turns back to you guys. The oh, shoot. Hmm. The dragon is going to use a legendary action. It will turn to the shawagan that's still alive. Hell yeah. No. <laughs> coming for you, you little shit. It's going to use his breath weapon. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and lightning <laughs> sparks rises. And because of some loose scales of torture, the lightning shoots out. And it goes up. Collar just slightly starts to dim, but does does not finish the glow. Goes all the way up. Launches. It takes. You guys get to witness this happen. I get the best seat in the house. I get to watch. Oh, it's way cooler from up here. (laughs) It's like sand. It's 4D (laughs) in the seats. You're going to love this number. It takes 69 (laughs) points of lightning damage. Yeah, Trace is going to love that number. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. He's gone. Wow. (laughs) Good job, Almighty One. By the way, what's your name? (gasps) Right. No, you're him? Thank you so much for watching this episode of Curse of Amity Island. Big thank you to Describe and World Anvil for sponsoring this episode. Can't wait for you to see the next episode because, oh my gosh, consider becoming a patron. You can get your name on the credits. You can get also bonus content, extended cuts of these episodes. I give you essentially an uncut version of the entire game session, and I'll see you on the next one. I don't think I've ever won initiative. This feels nice. The only (laughs) time I've won it. (laughs) You haven't either. It's like, I have plus four to it. I should be better at this. I have advantage, and uh, I've done it once, and it was on a nat 20. You know what I have? Is that a barbarian thing? Feral instinct, baby. Oh, okay. No, I've been forgetting. Oh, we're underwater. (gasps) My immersion is ruined. (laughs) Jory, dump yourself in water. What? <laughs> Dump yourself in water. Get the immersion back. Oh, right. For the immersion, you said it's not normal talking. Should, should we talk, talk a little more? I've been struggling with the accent already. I'm not doing that. Why can't you do perfect Scottish while drowning? I don't understand that. Truly not worth your salt. <laughs> I, you know, uh, I should just leave now.